this video will be an introduction to material nerds. We make some simple phantom type crystals made of a sort of glowing glass material. So let's get started. So this is what the final image will look like. So to begin making a crystal, we're going to add a cylinder. So I shift A, add a new mesh and add a cylinder. Change the number of vertices on the cylinder to five. Then I'm going to scale it along the z-axis, so press S, Z, to make it a bit longer. Next, we're going to add a five-sided cone on top of it. So press Shift A and add a cone. Change its number of vertices to five as well. Then grab it and move it along the z-axis, pressing G followed by Z. Scale it down a bit. So press S, Z to make it a bit shorter. Then go to a side on view and press G, Z to move it down until it's on top of the cone. When you're happy with the placement, select them both and we're gonna join them together into a single mesh. So how we're gonna do that is go is search for join. So function F3 will search and then look for join. Now these objects are just one object. If you want to make it look a little bit more realistic, go to edit mode and you can go to x-ray mode, so alt z and just move some of these vertices around a little bit so it's not quite so perfect. Okay, and when you're happy with it, go back to object mode and turn X-ray mode off, so Alt-Z again. Now we're going to add our material. So go to the render view and change the render engine to cycles, because we're going to be using transparent materials and it just works a little bit better with cycles. Open up the timeline window and change the window type to shader editor. With the crystal selected, add a new material. Press N to get rid of this window. We're then going to get rid of the principal BSDF surface because we don't need that. So select it and press X. What we're going to do is add a glass shader onto the mission shader and then mix them together. So press Shift A to add a glass shader so you can search for glass. Press Shift A again to add an emission shader. Then we're going to add a mix shader in between them. So press Shift A and search for mix. Connect the emission to the top shader and the glass to the bottom shader. And then attach the shader output to the surface input of the material output. So they're currently mixed 50-50, uh, so we want to change that. So let's press Shift-A and add a layer weight. Connect the facing layer weight to the uh, factor of the mix shader. And change the blend to 0 0.9. Even 0 0.95. We can then change the colour of these independently or we can change the colour of them together. So to do that, add an RGB shader, node rather, and connect the colour to both of the emission and the glass shader cuts.
You pick a colour that you think looks nice. I'm actually going to change the blend to 0 0.99. And that's the material done. So next we can choose a background. So I go to the world properties and I'm just going to set the background to black. And I'm going to add a plane. So if I shift A and a new mesh and add a plane and scale that up. Press G and Z, move it down a bit. And on this material, actually, I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. So just change the emission strength until you're happy with how it looks. I'm going to set it to about 10. So then you can duplicate the object, rotate it, um, scale it, and place it until you make a crystal cluster. And that's it. So when you're happy with it, go to render and render image. Obviously after you've added a camera and chosen your camera angle. Thank you. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, and same as before, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.